an ISIS fearmonger needed for murder and associated with shootings in California and Las Vegas was captured in New York City one day after the dangerous Halloween dread assault in Manhattan, however the occasion was concealed by prevailing press. When Saiflo Saipov, the Manhattan psychological oppressor, uncovered his radical Islamic philosophy, the predominant press went into overdrive to abstain from depicting Islam in a negative light. The media even endeavored to depict the droning of Allah Akbar as constructive, despite the fact that he yelled the expression while killing guiltless individuals. That may clarify why prevailing press don't need you to think about the capture of Abu Bakr Hussein, who was conveying a stacked gun when he was captured in Manhattan, was to a great extent disregarded, and just made the little print inside New York City itself. In Y Post reports, authorities busted a murder presume who had promised loyalty to ISIS in the wake of recognizing the outfitted man at a Midtown transport terminal Wednesday morning. Matthew Passaro, 46 who likewise passes by his received Muslim name Abu Bakr Hussein was gotten by Port Authority police close to the Greyhound terminal on 42nd Street at around 10.30 a.m., said Port Authority representative Joe Pentangelo. What prevailing press don't need you to know. As per authorities, he is known to visit the Al Farouk Mosque on Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn. Police could distinguish Passaro by facial scars and tattoos, a Freddy Krueger tattoo on his arm and pimps up, hose down on his hand. Passaro, who has no settled address, had a stacked 45 bore gun and two extra magazines when he was captured. In the wake of being set in guardianship, Passaro wound up noticeably incensed and undermined cops expressing you are fortunate I didn't shoot you, authorities said. Passaro is needed for the deadly shooting of a man in Brooklyn on Sept 20, and in addition a few other shooting occurrences in California and Las Vegas, including an endeavored kill. Passaro has been swung over to the Night Joint Terrorism Task Force, authorities said.